right, guys, here it is, finally. The Silverback, because we have really nothing else to call this thing. Basically, the concept behind this dude, besides the obvious, was to basically do a second generation of the model this is based after. So it's like, you know, what would we do different that was changed on, you know, the, the one that came out versus a vintage model, all that kind of stuff. So um, what we did, basically we have our kind of modern headstock on there. Uh, this is just rock maple, nothing crazy. Uh, we got some really cool tuners with like some ivory buttons on the back. They really go good with all of the off-white appointments. Just nickel hardware, four springs, got a parchment pit guard, kind of off-white knobs from uh, the old signature models from back in the day. Um, pretty much just kind of a basic, more uh, early 2000s model that everybody's used to. So kind of a throwback look, uh, kind of plastics-wise. Uh, as far as the color goes, um, kind of get in there. This particular color is called Anari Silver, even though it is very green, like celery green. This is uh, this is the same kind of metallic that Lake Placid Blue would be, that kind of thing. But this is the same, it's in the same color palette, I guess, more or less, than uh, the the, uh, the one we're, we're kind of going off of is. So, you know, it's nothing crazy like a rusty orange, but it's nothing boring like white either. Like, it's reserved, but it's still really cool. Uh, we did a light aging on the whole thing. Basically, just a little bit of... Not even wear, but just kind of it's played down a little bit. Shoulders are nice and rolled on the neck. Um, left all the hardware, you know, nothing trashed. Just a little tarnished, nothing crazy. Um, we didn't do any kind of fancy inlay. One, to keep price down. And two, personally, with this kind of guitar, if it's not dots, I, I can't even play it very well. I mean, it just looks funny to me. I can play it fine, but it just looks funny, so I don't want to play it. But, um, yeah, the pickups are all 6.4K, uh, or like 6.3 in a cool room or whatever. Um, vintage spec, you know, kind of in, in between a 63 and a 64. Um, 300K volume pot, 250K pots here. Um, we played around with the resistor, uh, to get a slightly better sound, I think. Um, it's just a little more user friendly. It's just, uh, it just sounds better to us. So we just tried a bunch of them. So this is the one we went with. Um, not a whole ton of difference. You're just splitting hairs at this point. But, um, yeah, uh, Indian Rosewood fretboard, just a nice dark cut, um, this specific one here is actually for sale. So if you want it, hit us up before it's gone. Um, as far as this changed part here, normally the one that we were kind of modeling this after has this great big scoop right here. Um, one that's trademarked, so we're not gonna do it that way. Uh, second, we basically took the, the lower horn shape of that, um, the vintage ultra modern that we, did a couple months ago that purple one and uh, took that same kind of modern cut here and what we did is instead of leaving the back normal and carving out a crazy looking cut in the front what we did is we kind of split the difference we did still a deep ish cut it's not shallow by any means you can i mean I, my hands are gigantic i mean they're bigger than a pit guard and i can still get up here access the 22nd fret and still have like pinky wiggle room so you have tons of room up here um another reason this smaller cut works 
and looks better in my opinion is if we go to the back we contoured the heel uh, right here in this area kind of yeah, yeah you can kind of see it so basically focus focus so basically this area here has been kind of shaved down a little bit sorry guys I don't know why this is not focusing there we go sorry um, yeah so basically you can see it here it almost looks kind of crooked when you look at it dead on like this but it basically takes from here out it takes all of this wood away so when you're playing up here the back of your hand isn't stopping here and you're forced to kind of just use the tips of your fingers there's not the amount of wood right here so it's going to be way easier to get the meat of your hand back in here to allow greater reach up at the front it all starts in the back so that's something the the other one did not do at all is uh, they left the back just the same which is cool I mean the front one still works but this is just the way we did it um, trying to think if there's anything else crazy not really um, yeah, uh, Mallory 1MF, I'm pretty sure. I probably got that wrong. Um, cap in here, it's a big fat cap. So it's going to eliminate uh, a lot of high end that you don't want right off the bat. And that transistor helps too. Yeah, forgive my blue and white fingers. I painted a Monterey earlier today. But uh, just going through a clean Dumble signal amp. Uh, start at the neck pickup. Resistor kind of doing a poor man trouble bleed type thing. They're very loud. They hit the front end of your amp pretty hard. Um, they're, and it's weird because they're not, they're about the same resistance as like a Texas Special or whatever, but it's a totally different wire. So it reacts kind of totally different as far as the volume and all that goes. They're a very loud, loud, punchy, spanky pickup, which is, which is pretty cool, especially if you're running through a lot of, uh, kind of darker pedals uh, it'll still make you cut through and since it has that that uh, resistor treble bleed thing on there plus that big cap if you want a lot of that treble dialed out you really don't have to alter anything crazy tonally you can just roll the volume back a little bit takes that that real high frequency out and the tone's about the same or leave it all the way open back off the tone about a quarter I mean, you can really make 
yourself sit in the mix however you want to, which is kind of cool with this guy. So, uh, yeah, I'll do like a, I'll do a, a more in-depth kind of sound demo uh, later, but I'll just kind of mess around for like a minute or whatever just to just to have you hear guys something. <laughs> pickups just like any other S style bridge pickup so we'll just roll off a touch of the volume about a quarter of the tone <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I'll actually come 